All right, so it's bright and early. Bright and early, hey Mary? Bright and early. Uh, and for those of you that watched uh, a previous video of mine, I said that we got a bread maker. Bread maker right there. So this is not gonna be the one of the standard downstairs in the studio shoots. We're actually going to open this and we're using it right away. Um, probably not all of you know, but I have a wheat issue, wheat problem. I can't eat things with wheat in it. So I've been missing bread. And so we bought, bought a bread maker and we're going to open it. Yeah, of course, it's kind of important, right? And uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna attempt to make rice bread. So this'll, this'll be a good test to see if this, this thing actually functions. It got good reviews on Amazon, so. Apparently and you just throw everything in and boom. Bread. Because rice bread, if you go to buy it, it's not cheap. So maybe this will be better. Okay, so here it is. Mar Mary's doing the unboxing. Look at her. We got this. We got this actually on Black Friday. Uh, so I can't even remember how much it costs. I don't know either. Somewhere around, I think, somewhere around the hundred dollar mark. I think I was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> but it was one of those. You know, Amazon was like, "Oh, this is the this is the one that everybody seems to love and buy." And I was like, "Okay, let's get that one." And it's Hamilton Beach. At least it's a brand that I've heard of. And I went on Amazon, as you guys can see, uh, and I bought. Supposedly all the ingredients that I need. I'm hoping it'll make more than one or two loaves of bread because if it makes only one, even even if it makes two, I think all the ingredients cost me like forty or fifty dollars. So they'll be the most expensive okay. loaves of bread ever. No. I'm not. I'm failing the unboxing so far. I can get it. Out of okay. Box. I will come help you. Hold on. There we go. That's good. Oh, it's it's actually. It's, I don't know if it's smaller than I thought it would be or if it's, oh. I thought um, it's lengthwise. It's kind of what I thought. I thought it, I thought it would be wider, but I guess it only needs to make a loaf of bread. So what do you get? You get the bread maker and oh, the manual. manual. All right. Oh, yeah. So it says right on the top, right? Look at that. Basic French gluten free. It has a gluten free setting. That's nice. Whole grains, and just think—I'm sure, sure Harley will be like, "I'm gonna make bread." Yeah, I told her she could make brown bread in it. She loves brown bread. So there we go. Menu, start, stop. You guys can see all the kind of settings on the top there, and five-year warranty. That's good. And it's yeah, it's not—it's not a horrible size. Like I said, you could you could easily put that in in a cupboard and just bring it out because it, it's not something that you're gonna use all the time. For sure. Yeah. All right, so what do we get inside it? Garbage, okay. garbage. Is that a measuring cup? It's a cup. There's Callie. I'm oh, sorry. Hey, Callie. You watching mom? Callie? <laughs> she's, 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 there she is. <laughs> there she is. Okay. So you get measuring, measuring spoon. spoon. Measuring cup. I'm guessing that's the power cable. No, nope. yes, no. no, no. Power cable's out the back? Yeah. Already? Okay. It's a hook. It's a hook for? Oh, I'm, sh I'm sure that's the blade for inside to stir all the ingredients, right? Cool. So there you go. This, that's what you get in the little package inside. Bread maker. Manual. Sweet. Artisan. Does that make it fancy? Yep. Cool. Okay, do you have the recipe for the rice bread? I did at one point. Let me see if I can find it. So this is this is some of the ingredients I had to, to buy to make the rice bread. So we have white rice flour. We have <clears throat> organic coconut milk powder. So all this was on Amazon. So. I'll put, I'll put links to all this down below and I'll put a link to the recipe that we used online. Uh, uh, tapioca starch, right there, tapioca starch. We need three eggs, room temperature, so Mary's just cooling them down. Warming them up. 
warming them up, I mean. Yeah, because they were in the fridge. Uh, xanthan gum. <laughs> All right. You ready to start making stuff? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, so we, yeah, so we don't have vegetable oil, so we're substituting with coconut oil. And you need some apple cider vinegar, so we have that right there. So what did we say those, that was a... Paddle hook. That's a paddle hook. We don't know what that means, but that's what it is. This is the kneading paddle. Well, we're supposed to let it bake empty for about 10 minutes. Okay, well, how about we do that, and then we can mix all the stuff in the bowl. Okay. Okay. So you're supposed to let it bake for 10 minutes, let it cool, and then clean it so that all the inside stuff gets disinfected, I guess, right? Yeah. All right, so we figured it out. On the menu, it's number 13, which is bake, and then you just set the time to 10 minutes, and it's it's the counter on on here is like minutes and hours, not seconds and minutes, yes. right? So we got it to 10, we're letting it go. Cats are jumping in boxes, but now we have to do the mixing. Well, Mary's doing the mixing. What is it? It's like one bowl is all the dry stuff and one bowl is all the wet stuff. Yeah, and then you have to layer it into the bread maker, I guess. All right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna start mixing. Well, I might wait, because... We're gonna wait but we'll start mixing right away for you. <laughs> okay, first first and foremost, foremost, I may actually, Mary, you may wanna open that window back there just a little bit, just to get some air circulation in here. So you can see on the actual bread maker, it's just smoking over there because it's, it's clean. And we actually just got a new stove and when you clean it, it, it was kind of the same thing. The smoke just billowed out of it when it went through its cleaning phase. So it's kind of good because that smell is not pleasant. So try to open some windows or something, get some ventilation in your kitchen or wherever you're doing this. While that's doing that, Mary's going to do the, uh, the dry stuff. And we learned about what that hook was for. This is the paddle hook. So when you take the bread out, the paddle... The paddle is stuck in the bread, so this hook is to remove it somehow. I'm guessing, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, but it makes sense, so you're not using your fingers to dig around and get there. Right. Yeah. All right, so we're doing all the dry stuff, because again, it's dry stuff in one bowl, wet stuff in another bowl, and then you have to kind of layer it in the bread maker. So what is that that you're doing? This is the white uh, rice flour. White rice flour. How much? Two and a quarter cups. Two and a quarter cups. Be precise. Gotta be precise, because you don't want to blame measurements on why our bread's messed up. That's as close to a cup as you get. The importance in baking is being precise. I guess that's true. It's not like... It's a science, It's really. not like cooking, where it's like a pinch of this, or to, everything's to taste. Very different texture than flour flour. More coarse? Yeah, it's just, I don't know. Okay, so we've got the rice flour in. Yes. Now next is? Uh, tapioca starch. Tapioca starch, which is a big bag over here. How much of that? Uh, one cup. One cup. And at this point, the bread maker has stopped smoking. Oh, we just hit 10 minutes? Yeah. Cool. Well, I almost, I always remember when I was young and my mom used to make bread, there was like flour everywhere. And... Yeah. But she didn't have a bread maker. No. <laughs> Your mom would love a bread maker. Two teaspoons xanthan gum. Xanthan gum. Two teaspoons xanthan gum. Well, that's nice because a lot of the ingredients, I think, especially the little things like xanthan gum and maybe, well, even the tapioca stuff, like you buy it once and you should get a fair bit of loaves of bread out of it. You should have a cooking show. <laughs> you should have a cooking show. For filling. What? 
That's thrilling. It is. How much goes in there? Half a cup. And two quarters. Gotcha. Math. You can do it. Nice. And then sugar. Three tablespoons of sugar. Good thing you can buy sugar in such small bags. That should... I'm also baking cookies. So... Right. For those that want to watch Mary make cookies, you might have to wait till next Christmas. Why? Well, because by the time they see this, Christmas will be over. And unless oh. you, you want to just make cookies uh, again. I wasn't going to film that. No. Because I find this stressful. But entertaining at the same time. Right. Right. Because the audience loves Mary. Right. Loves Mary. <sighs> so uh, flushed. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all the dry ingredients? Yep. Sweet. Well, except for the yeast, but that goes in on the top after you put everything in. Oh, so that's part of the layering? Yeah. Is like, does it go... Because the yeast can't touch any liquid. Oh, so it, so it goes liquid, dry, yeast? Yep. Gotcha. Okay, so that's the that's the bread pan bread. That's the size that loaf the bread pan. the loaf pan. So it's a good size, I think. So all washed. Does it have a front and a back? Mm -hmm. Is there a front and a back to the pan? Not yeah. that I could see, but like this. Hold on. No, I guess it'd be that way. Yeah. Let's turn around again. Let me see. Does that seem right? Ah. Uh, yep. That does now. Okay, eggs, water, oil, and vinegar. Eggs. So we got three eggs. That was excellent. Make sure you get some shell in there. That's egg cracking at its finest right there. <sighs> Camera's stressing me out. I'm a lot better at this. All right, so this is? Water. Warm water. Warm water. How much? A cup and a half. A cup and a half. Teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Voila. So Did you say so much? Coconut oil. Three tablespoons. So would that be better to liquefy? Uh, it should liquefy when I put it in the warm water. Oh, okay. right. Okay. So we're already substituting. But we have coconut oil and organic coconut milk powder in here. That's right. So that's... So don't... don't Make this if you're allergic to coconut or any of the other ingredients, I guess. So now you're gonna. Is that it for liquid? Yep. That's it? All right, so you're gonna stir it up just to make, try to get that coconut oil to blend? Yeah. Well, and mix the other stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll get ready for it going in the bread maker. And the liquid. Liquid first. My guess is now add add the dry stuff. Flour mixture. You could. Okay. And you don't stir it, you just lay it there, right? Yeah. So a bowl that's bendy or a bowl with a spout maybe would be good. Because you don't want the yeast to touch liquid, you said, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. I don't know if there's any how much is in here. Doesn't it say on the front? It's added to the center. 
Add it to the center. And you said two and a quarter? Yeah. Select the gluten-free setting for a two pound loaf, medium crust. It says when the kneading cycle starts, scrape down the pan with the spatula to thoroughly mix the batter. Menu number three. So menu gluten-free. Okay, so just so you guys are aware, um, there's an area up here at the top that's for the size of bread and then your crust, I guess. Um, but not all of the presets have the feature. So um, the gluten-free doesn't, but you'll see as you go through, this one has it. So then you could move that around. Same thing with down here. But it does say only if your bread maker has that feature, which ours doesn't. So when we set it here, that disappears. So gluten, gluten-free, it is what it is. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Close. I wish there was like a, something that said, yep, it's going. It's going. Well, it's on preheat. Oh, it's on preheat, so. Okay, well, we'll, we'll be back when this thing is done. What does it say? Two hours, 45 minutes. Two hours, 45 minutes for uh, rice bread. Well, the recipe says, when the kneading cycle starts to scrape down the sides just to get just all to the stuff off the gets mixed in. right so it says to use a whatever spatula or whatever yeah all right well i'm sure we'll hear it start yep so okay well we'll be back when that part happens i guess right the yeast is gone the yeast is gone it's in there it smells like dough. Mm. There. Sweet. I liked a little window. <laughs> That's cool. All right, guys, so uh, it's actually been a day later. A day later, uh, we had company come over, but uh, the bread was a success. And look at me having bread with peanut butter on it. Now, first is the sort of review of the actual bread maker. I can't, I can't be happier with it, really. It does exactly what a bread maker should do easy easy to clean makes bread right secondly is the rice bread recipe I just realized it makes a heavy it is heavy it's a heavy loaf of bread and if you've never had rice bread its consistency definitely is just heavy it's very heavy bread it's a dense bread and when you eat it by itself i don't know if it's just all the coconut or if it's the tapioca powder that's in it it definitely has a sweetie a sweet taste to it almost a cakey taste to it not quite to that level but i've had it now uh with with breakfast it doesn't toast like bread does but you do still get a bit of a crunch you do i did find you had to just toast it longer but not a big deal uh, I, I i've made a sandwich had peanut butter it's good i'm happy one of the best purchases we've made in a long time. Uh, now I just need to figure out how expensive it is really to make to make bread. All right, guys, that's it. That's our Hamilton Beach bread maker. We're pleased. We will put links down below if you guys are interested in this one. Uh, it gets rated very high and price is actually pretty good. So links down below if you're interested. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the little notification bell. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.